Hey there everyone, today we're going to do a little tutorial about using curved text in Inkscape. And uh, we're working on a little logo for the school store. Um, the school store is called the Red Zone. Um, I'm also going to show you how to um, work with paths to uh, join a couple of paths and, and do a difference where you see the uh, red sort of encroaching in on this, um, excuse me, the, the, the word red moving in on the space of this red circle. So I'm going to try to show you both of those things. Um, so the first thing we want to do is recreate this red zone curve text right here. Um, what we do is we take a Bezier curve tool and we draw and what I did was click once and double click to end the Bezier curve tool and then go and edit pass by nodes and I'm going to drag up and if you sec click on the line a second time you'll get these path handles um, that you can use to um, situate the path as you see fit. Um, now we want to put text on the curve so we're going to use our text tool and um, I think I used a distressed font here. We'll see if uh, we can find that font. Um, and uh, make the font a little bit large. So we'll take it up to 72. It won't be quite as big as the other one. Um, so the red zone. So now we have um, a text, piece of text, a uh, text object. And we have our path object. And we want to put the two together. Um, to put the two together, what we do is uh, select the text object, hold shift, and select the path object at the same time. Then we want to go to text and put on path. So we put the text on the path and it should run right up on to the path. And if we select the, the text tool again, we should be able to click back in that text and move it, to put spaces in to get it to where we want it. Now, um, we want to get rid of this line right here. Um, so there's a couple ways we can do that. We can select the line, go to object, fill and stroke and simply turn off, um, take, the, take the stroke paint and simply turn it off. Um, but the line, the object, the path object is still actually there in that case. Uh, the second thing we could do would be to make the text a path. So I could select the text and make the, make the object, the text object, a path object. Um, and then I can move and separate it from the line. If I hadn't made that uh, text um, object a path, I would not have been able to take it off of this line and kept it curved. So now I can simply delete this line and there it goes. Now the, the other thing we need to know how to do is um, get the text to go in a different direction. You notice here it's going um, inside the line. It's doing an inset. So we would want to make our path again And this time we want to drag the guy down. And we need to change the orientation of this object to be path. And we want on the outset this time. Excuse me. Inset, excuse me. So we're going to select inset. And now we're going to type the word zone. And again, select both zone, the word zone and the object, the, uh, excuse me, the path object. And we're going to go in text and put on path. And again, I'm going to be able to move this text and get it situated in the right spot. So you can see, uh, with just a little bit of effort, we can get our, on our way to making um, a logo that looks like this. Next tutorial I'll show you how to do the um, the path and uh, difference in order to, to make the cutout of the red word into the red circle. That's all for now. Until next time.